week four lesson will be solving word problems involving quadratic equations or rational algebraic equations. So for the example in number one, the sum of two numbers is 13 and their product is 36. Find the numbers. So hanapin daw natin yung dalawang numbers. So isa-isahin nga natin. Sabi, sum of two numbers is 13. Okay? So, meron dalawang number. When we add them, the answer is 13. And when we multiply them, the answer is 36. So, kailangan natin hanapin yung mga numbers na yun. So, first, for our solution, for the solution, for the solution, Let x sub 1, we let x sub 1 be the first number, first number, and x sub 2 be the second number, okay? And so, x sub 1 is the first number, and x sub 2 is the second number. So, sabi dito, sa solution natin, uh, sa given natin, given natin, yung una, the sum of two numbers is 13. So, gagamitin natin itong dalawang, uh, in example natin, na x sub 1 at x sub 2, para makuha natin yung equation nito. So, the sum of x sub 1 and x sub 2 is 13. Ito yun. x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to 13. Or, we can say that negative b over a is equal to 13. Okay? Saan nang galing tong negative b over a natin? Nang galing po ito sa concept ng uh, sum and product of quadratic equations. Doon sa rewrite, uh, sa lesson natin nung nakaraang linggo, na rewriting the equation. Okay? Next, how about the other one? Their product is 36. So, what we are going to do is to multiply them. Okay? X sub 1 times X sub 2 is equal to, ilam daw? 36. Okay? Or, we can simply say, that C over A is equal to 36. Ito po yan. Katulad din ng concept na nakuha natin dito sa negative B over A, nakuha din po natin yung concept na to sa uh, sum and product of roots of quadratic equations. So, continue natin. Just lang natin. So, for our equation, kagamitin natin yung formula to get the equation. Okay, ano ba yung formula natin? x squared minus negative b over a x plus c over a is equal to 0. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. Okay? To get the equation. So, now, x squared minus Ano ang value ng negative b over a natin? 13. So, kaya naging 13 x. May x po tayo dito. Huwag kakalimutan isama. Next, plus c over a. Ano yung c over a natin? Ang value ay 36. Plus 36 is equal to 0. So, meron na tayong uh, equation na x squared minus 13x plus 36 is equal to 0. Next, Kung meron na tayong standard form, pwede na natin hanapin ang factor niyan para mahanap natin ang root. Okay? So, the factor of 36 is negative 9 and negative 4. Okay? Pag pinag-add natin yung dalawang number, negative 13 ang sagot. Pag pinag-multiply natin, positive 36. 
So, equate, nat, uh, tama, equate natin siya to 0. X minus 9 is equal to 0. X minus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose natin. This will become positive 9 and positive 4. Therefore, the numbers are 4 and 9. Okay? So, by checking, check natin if our answers are correct. By checking, doon na tayo sa taas mag-check. By checking, gagamitin natin yung concept kanina, yung sa given natin, which is x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Ano ba yung x sub 1 natin? Pwedeng yung 9 or yung 4. Okay? So, let's say that x sub 1 is yung 9, x sub 2 is yung 4. Okay? So, x sub 1 daw is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to 13. What is our x sub 1? 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. So, 13 is equal to 13. That is correct. How about if we multiply them? x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to 36. So, what will be the result? 9 times 4 is equal to 36. And 9 times 4 is 36. So, therefore, 36 is equal to 36. That is for the number 1 example.